I don't know. Just need this needs to be sharpened. If only I had a tungsten sharpener. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we're going to be talking about something related to TIG welding and that is sharpening tungsten. Now if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, I'm very new to TIG welding uh, but one thing you do have to do when you're using a TIG welder is sharpen the tungsten. Um, what I've primarily been using is a Dremel with a small like stone on it just to sharpen it but it doesn't come out too bad, but what I don't know is how much of a difference that makes to my ability to actually do a decent TIG weld, which has a long way to go. So I actually went out and purchased the Perf Angle. Now this is created by KO Welding. Um, it is a dedicated uh, tungsten sharpener, and we're gonna be checking out what's in the box and having a go at sharpening some tungsten and maybe having a bit of a go and seeing if it makes any difference. So let's take a look. All right, so one thing you do get with the order, I've got a couple of these stickers. Uh, these are pretty cool. I always like when companies send you a sticker. I don't know, there's something cool about that. Um, they also sent a little stubby holder or a drink chiller. It's kind of cool, made to order. They actually do KO welding tables, which are pretty cool. So this is, small welding table I have, but it's nothing very, it's a very basic one. It's very thin, but they do some pretty cool tables and they sent a pen. So I can always think can okay, welding, pretty clever. But let's get down to what's super important and that is what's in the box. Some paperwork, it's a little plastic thing. I haven't actually taken this out. There is a, Small rotary tool here, which looks a lot like a Dremel. Now you can, you don't have to buy this, you can actually buy the MBIT, but I wanted a dedicated tungsten, um, a tungsten grinder. I didn't want to be changing out my Dremel and stuff. So, small tool, looks like there's some brushes. It's obviously not a brushless motor, and your power cord with an Australian 10 amp socket, it's not good stuff. But this I guess is what's important. So this comes in a little bag. You can open this, I'm doing all this one handed. Got perf angle. It's got some plastic on it, let's take that out. All right, so this is essentially what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this, which is, uh, this is an alloy. Looks, feels like aluminium or something. It's light, but it is a metal. Um, and this has all your angles on it. So you can see all the different angles, the sizes. Um, you push your tungsten through there. There's also a cutoff section there where you can put your tungsten to cut it off against the wheel. And this bit here would just screw on to the top of the tool here, it should be up here. You also get some rubber rings, which I believe go around here. Because you do have this cover, you put your tungsten through. Can you actually see that? You can see there's a hole there. And this would slide over the top. Those rubbers would stop this from just sliding off. You get Five of these grinding double-sided diamond wheels. You get a few anvils here with some screws. So I'm not sure what the length difference is, but let's have a look at putting this together. Okay, so I've attached this. It's basically screw on the diamond wheel onto this mandrel here. Now these are different, although when you look at them, they're different heights. But they're very, very similar height, so I'm not sure why there's two different ones or whether it matters. So anyway, let's move on to setting this up. All right, so I've put the rubber rings on, so you only need two. All that means 
is you can just push that on. That's quite quite firm at holding it on there. Allows you to put this on the top and it just stops the two from coming apart. And it's actually just holding that with one hand, so it's actually not that, that hard to do with two rings versus one, so your choice, whether you want two of the rubber rings or not, there's not a lot of difference to me. Now this end has a screw thread, it will go on here, so this can actually come off. And this screws onto there. It's also worth noting, the Dremel, if you have a Dremel, you don't want to pay extra for this, which is probably an extra 40 bucks. You can buy just this, this bit with the, the discs and stuff for about $140 or something at the moment. So you're basically paying another $40 for this, but I wanted a dedicated one. So if I want to use my Dremel, I don't have to take all this off. I just want a dedicated tungsten grinder. So I chose to have this as well. But yeah, this does fit on there. And I guess you can just set up your Dremel with that if you want to save yourself 40 bucks. All right, so we've taken, all right, so we've taken this bit off here that was there. Apparently we don't need that. We're going to screw this on to the top here. It's already pretty loose. Let's put that on there. We'll put the diamond now. I'm just going to try one of the long ones. You've got this pin here, you can press that which kind of locks this and allows you to tighten it. So we, here. A little bit weird to get in there so you can just rotate this to get that out of your way. But yeah, and I've tried to line this up with the bottom kind of see here it's it's located to the bottom of that it's pretty level so I think that's about it all right so if we want to grind this place that I have here which I think is a 2.4 I might just double check it this is a rare earth one uh, say at 30 degrees which is probably a good all-rounder go to the fourth hole which is for that size tungsten Put this cut out there, slide that in. You can see how that's going to look from this side to give you the angle. So let's fire up and give it a go. There you have it. That's a 30 degree tungsten grind. That's starting to feel a bit warm. But the beauty is this cap keeps all that dust in there so you're not breathing that in. Especially if you're using the thoriated tungsten, which is a little bit radioactive. So there you go, that looks pretty good. Let's try a uh, slightly pointier one. Maybe we'll try the two, this is the 1.6. There we have, that was, uh, I think that was 22 degrees. Oh, no, that was 15, with a 1.6. This is a mixed, I think it's called a mixed something. <laughs> it's the pink tip. <laughs> there we go, looking pretty good and sharp. 
It is also worth noting that you can cut your tungsten off. If you were to dip this, there's a cutout, which allows you to just put it in that gap there. Just push against it and it'll cut your tungsten off so you can grind it fresh again. This also does have a speed control. You can, looks like it's got maybe, I don't know, six or seven notches there that you can adjust the speed. All right, there we have it. The Perf Angle uh, by KO Welding. Uh, this is in Australia. I don't know if you can get this anywhere else, but this is in Australia. They aren't exactly cheap. This whole thing costs I think about $189 shipped or something like that. Uh, it did get here really quick and they did throw in a couple of extra. So I'll give them props for the sticker and the, uh, the little chiller for a beer or something. But it also comes with a cover, which is kind of cool. So that stops you bringing in all the rubbish. You can just empty it out when you're done. So yeah, I'm going to go and uh, give those tungstens a go. Maybe try a few different angles. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.